So you want to get healthy. This is a great idea. The only thing that surprises me about people wanting to get healthy is that they, they oftentimes overlook the simplest of things. Like, for instance, oh, I, I want to get healthy, so I have to get a gym membership, even though I had never worked out for a day in the past three months and or three years or 30 years. <laughs> and then I'm going to go every day and I'm don't overlook the little things like going for a walk. I mean, just a simple, just a simple act of going for a daily walk can have tremendous effect on your overall health. And one of the things that we overlook um, that is just a very simple thing, but really helps us to get a lot better is drinking water. I mean, everybody knows drink water. You know, hey, our bodies are mostly made out of water. We all know these things, but we don't really do them. And so it's become like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll drink water. I'll drink more water, but then we don't. And then we get like these special bottles that's like have marks on them for how much to drink by what part of the day. And then we don't really use them. Oh, it, well, it got dirty. I have to wash it, you know, or whatever. And it's like, well, this is a very simple thing that you can do that affects most everything in your life. Um, it'll affect how, how the quality of sleep. It'll affect qual how you feel when you wake up. It's amazing how much drinking water can just change everything. If you are getting ready to exercise, make sure to drink water before you exercise, but then also, and people forget about this, keep drinking water during exercise. You don't want to be just sitting there dehydrating yourself and have nothing else going back in. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it. Like, you don't want to be drinking like two gallons a day or some nonsense. But with that being said, if it really depends on your activity level and your body size and those kinds of things. So all these things, let me just kind of clarify what I'm talking about. Okay, first off, water is really like a miracle cure. People don't talk about this a lot, but it, it really is. If you are, the only example that I can think of that, that water is not great besides overhydrating is where you are on a liquid limited diet. Like I have a friend who has uh, renal failure. He has his, his kidneys, he is on dialysis. And so he has to limit his water, his liquid intake um, because of that. But that's one of the few situations where more water doesn't help. Like most everything that you do in life, water is not going to do anything to hurt it. It's going to make it better. It's like stress, right? Like you want to be healthier. People don't say, well, try and, you know, take it easy. Try and relax a little bit. Just lowering your stress level impacts your whole life. So, okay, let's talk about some of the more specific things that water can help. I have colitis, and with colitis, um, staying hydrated is absolutely essential for managing it. Um, if you don't drink enough water, it's going to affect, I mean, your recovery, how well the medicine works. It, in fact, the medicine can also cause kidney, um, kidney stones if you aren't drinking enough water. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those things where you kind of have to. Um, and when I, when I exercise, it, it seems like it takes a little bit more out of me than it did before. And so water is one of those things that, that is just, it really helps those things to work correctly. Um, if you have diabetes, um, drinking more more water can help you lower your blood sugar because your water will pass the, the sugar out through your, um, through your urine. When you get sick and you drink water, it won't imp impact you as bad. Um, you'll have a faster recovery rate. Uh, if you sing, Drinking water helps your voice to have a, a, a better range and, and to feel better and to, for you to have more control over it. Um, if you are, uh, when you're eating, and if you drink water, it helps your body to process the water better, I mean the food better, which in turn helps you to be healthier, um, not to get so clogged, for instance. Um, if you are trying to lose weight, one of, the, one, of the, one of the best ways to help you lose weight, drink water, and that's for a lot of different reasons. First off, it helps your body to work correctly. Second off, it helps um, you to feel fuller um, so you don't eat as much. And a lot of times we overeat because we're just bored eating. So if you're drinking more water, it kind of helps that to not be as strong. It's still going to struggle with it, just not as strong. Um, it is one of, those, one of those things where it helps your body to work as it's supposed to for your exercise. Um, you know, a lot of times we lose water weight and we think, oh, look how much weight I've, I've lost. And it's like... Yet you didn't though, like there's no, <laughs> it's one of those things. Um, if you are having headaches, drinking water can help. Um, if you have problems with allergies, drinking water will help. <laughs> if you, um, because remember allergies, you're talking about mucus and your body's producing this and whatnot. 
and when you drink water it helps flush it through it helps it clear it but then also your body is using up the water in your body to like fight illnesses to fight allergies to do all these different things well if you drink drinking water it's going to help your body to feel better as it's working through this it can actually lower your symptoms too um, like for instance with allergies um, <clears throat> if you are having problems with, with constipation Drinking water helps. Your your intestines are always coating things, right? They're, it's always like, you know, got this thing going on. It's just like with your stomach. It's always like producing acid to try and coat things, to try and make things better. If you're not drinking enough water and you're eating a bunch of junk food especially, you're going to get things like indigestion. And when you drink water, it's going to help the indigestion to not be as bad. It's going to help it to kind of work through a little bit. It's going to help in your in your intestines. It's going to help things to be coated correctly. It's going to help things to keep moving. The abundance of water is going to make it where there's more more chances for your stool to get softer. Um, oftentimes you have people with hemorrhoids or anal fissures and they're not drinking enough water. And it's like, well, you know, your body needs that water to, to heal and to help pass the stools. And there's just a lot of different things you can do there. Um, <clears throat> water affects, uh, affects organ function. It, it um, helps against long-term health problems. Um, I mean, whether you have it or not, um, drinking water is going to help. If you're on medication, it helps your body to absorb the medication better. It helps it to pass through better. It helps your body not to get overwhelmed by the medication. Um, when your when your body is dehydrated, things get veins and stuff will get like tighter and stuff. So it doesn't really absorb as much as it could. Um, caffeine has a higher uh, a higher um, impact on your body. Um, the sugar that's in your bloodstream will will have a higher impact. All these different things that that can be prevented and helped just by drinking water. Um, really one of the most simple of things that you can do to be healthy. Like, oh, I want to be healthy. What are you going to do first? The first thing you need to say, I'm going to drink more water. That's like the first thing that should be on your list. Um, water is necessary for feeling good and, and, and for having proper body function, yet most people are dehydrated. Doesn't that kind of blow you away? Like, oh, no, I, I'm fine. I'm not dehydrated. It's like, how much water are you drinking? They say for men, you're supposed to drink about 15, 15.5 15 cups. And for women, there's somewhere around 11, 11.5, 12, somewhere in there. And uh, obviously, not everybody's the same, but I mean, that, that's a good starter point. And would you say that you're around that area? You know, and then if you are trying to be, um, get in shape and that kind of stuff, you're not drinking enough water, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Um, water helps it where your body can distribute the electrolytes like it's supposed to. It allows it where your your kidneys are able to, you know, to kind of level things out a little bit better in your body. Everything you do, your water is going to have a huge impact. Our body runs on water. It's largely made out of water. But we oftentimes just neglect the simple act of drinking water. Um, but I do have to say, don't drink water too fast. It Your body won't have time to absorb it. And don't drink too much. Like, so, okay, let's say you're supposed to drink 15 cups of water, okay? So don't drink 45 cups of water. And if you drink too much and if you drink too fast, you can have a lot of problems. First off, if you drink too much water, just like sitting there guzzling, 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 it'll actually flush the electrolytes out of your system. Another thing is if you drink too much water too fast, you can actually cause um, internal damage um, in, 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 your, in your guts. And... Um, need to go to the doctor. So, I mean, this isn't something you should be worried and, and stressing out about, but it's just one of those things where, you know, don't get in a competition to drink two gallons of water as fast as you can. Like, just don't do that. Um, okay, what else? The thing about it, about water is that everything in your life is going to dehydrate you. Just simply being alive, sleeping dehydrates you, um, working, exercising, everything dehydrates you. But maintaining good water levels helps you get better sleep. It helps you to heal faster if, you're, if your body gets sore and that kind of stuff. Um, helps lower the effects of illnesses. Um, so if you're trying to get healthy, that's a great thing that you're trying to do. And I, I'm not trying to discourage you. But I would also try to encourage you with this. Try, let one of the first things you do to incorporate into your new lifestyle to get healthy be to drink the correct amount of water. And I, th I think you'll, you'll be surprised at how amazing it'll help you feel, especially if you lower some of your caffeine intake, um, you know, and maybe your sugar intake too. You're going to notice headaches at first, but then you're going to feel better. You're going to look better. And I think you're going to, you're going to think better too. So.